This is the stuff dreams are made of. I'm writer collector Ryan Condal. And I'm writer collector Dave Mandel. Ryan, happy Mother's Day. Yes, indeed, and no better way to celebrate no than better with way. what's there's new and nothing, props. There's nothing that the ladies in our lives, the mothers in our lives, love more than what's new in props, and especially this week, because there's nothing new in props at all except the brand new Prop Store catalog, which is their big LA auction coming up June 28th through 30th, which... That is my gift to my wife, Becky, is the new catalog and what I'm going to buy in it, which I know will make her very, very, very happy. <laughs> Thrilling. I can't wait to report. So and we made a little... Happy Mother's Day to everyone out there. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> whenever whenever yes. this airs. <laughs> hug, hug the mother of your children and your mother and then... Uh, and then excuse yourself to bid, <laughs> to bid on props. <laughs> <laughs> well, first you have to come listen to what we're bidding on, and then yes. you have to bid us up. That's the uh, that's the order of play here. So, um, so Dave and I uh, have made a pact uh, this week because we knew we we actually received. This is the uh, latest we've ever at... sort of received. This is the latest, but earliest we've gotten it early before yes. the auction, so we could record this. But we literally got sent it late last night. And other than we basically agreed just to make sure the download worked and looked at the cover, and then truly, right. like not at all, look at anything, like zero prep, which really is our new show motto: zero prep. So that's, yeah, zero I, prep. I, I like where this is. This is it. like yeah. this is like <laughs> negative prep. There's yeah. nothing. I think it's going to be really good for us it. in the future. Just no prep, no guests, no nothing. Just yeah. two men in a catalog. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, no, I literally, other than, I but guess. But wait, some... I have a question. Oh, yeah. Dave, were you master of your domain? Did you? Uh, I did not look. Did you I did not look. Resist? I made sure I could see okay. it. I saw the cover, which has a clown on it that I honestly. A terrifying clown. A terrifying clown that I honestly, I, I, and I'm not going to lie, I have no idea what it's from. I like, I don't even know why it's on the cover. Poltergeist, isn't it? Oh, well, all right. Then so that's, I think. that's how little I know about anything. <laughs> but uh, I did not even remember it from Poltergeist, which is a movie that I watched, I think, mostly with my eyes closed whenever it was. I saw it and have yeah. never seen it again because I don't like scary movies and I'm a big Freddy cat. Um, <laughs> so I saw the clown. I saw the back of the cover, which has a gremlin, a Star Lord, yes. uh, a Batman bike. I don't know whatever the hell they call it. I call it a bat, bat cycle. Pod. Bat Pod, okay, which we think we knew about from one of our prop store ads. We mentioned it, yeah. And then I'm assuming what's a what's a uh, like a Maximus or something from Gladiator, yeah. right? Uh, that's what I'm. Assuming. I believe that's but, his arena arena armor because um, it has which all is of the little different um, than his armor armor from when he's a general, which has sold correct. somewhat recently as well, right? Correct. Is that um, okay? So yes, I, I saw believe these... this is the arena armor. Gotcha. So I've seen these five things, one, two, three, four, five, didn't know what the clown was. And then we saw stuff in the prop store uh, display at the Star Wars celebration, but I'm not even sure which of that is in this auction and which isn't. So that's all I know yes. going in, which is kind of wild. Uh, normally, I feel like I know a little more. I know, I know one other thing that was that was called out to me privately, which we will discuss when we get to okay. it. But that's that's really it for me, and I'm I'm kind of going in very blind uh, in this case, more blind than I think I usually do uh, in one of these. You start to hear things through the transom, and they were very tight lipped uh, this <laughs> this time around. I think they like all the uh, the rush of excitement um, that leads up to uh, leads up to the actual bidding day. So, you know, as we record this, we're about um, six weeks from auction day. And uh, and we'll be you know discussing and planning, and Dave and I will be reacting to this live just as uh, everybody will when they get they get the catalog. Yeah. So and I'm um, hoping. Down... I'm th oh, I was just gonna say. Oh, download. Sorry, go ahead. You say that first. Yeah. yeah I sorry. was gonna say download your catalog from PropStore.com or open the hard copy if you're lucky enough to have one of those, and uh, and page through with us. We'll go lot by lot, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna do just day one uh, this time because it felt like that's where most of the interest lies. And I think what we're gonna do so that we can have a detailed chat, we're gonna split day one over two episodes. So we'll kind of go up through like L uh, on day one, and then we'll you know we'll call a break. Uh, you'll hear the the theme music, and then come back a week later. Uh, for 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 the rest of day one, but this will still these will air uh, in enough time before the auction, so everybody can hear our thoughts before they uh, they decide. And what somewhere to bid on. in the next two weeks, I'm going to go over to Prop Store and 
look at some of these things that we talk about and I'll, and kind of, uh, I'll try and, and try and sort of film a little something while I'm over there looking at stuff. So yes, look excellent. for that as well on our YouTube sad to, channel. Yes. Sad, sad to miss on that. Um, uh, so I'm, I'm ready. I have, uh, I have a full jug of water for hydration. I have my, I have coffee. my whiskey. I've, and my Blade Runner so glass. You're at the top, and then I have sort of a smaller <laughs> yeah. catalog, but I'll zoom in if I need to, but I think it's all yes. ready. And the clown from the movie that I still don't believe is really from Poltergeist is big and right in front Welcoming of Welcoming us in. <laughs> is that like a toy in and the room? Is, is that what that was? It's, I haven't seen that movie I think it's the forever. thing in the closet, right? When the closet opens, I think he's oh, in the closet. Lord. When oh the beam God. of light okay. comes, I believe that's it. I, and I could okay. be totally wrong, but I, that's, that, that's the, the magician, the sort of wizard hat thing on him that sort of clued me into that. Bef and before we begin, I just wanted to call out um, the whiskey that I'm drinking. This is a uh, Kelvin Mao private bottling from, oh. uh, it's called the Sneaky Space Side, uh, I think from uh, the Glen Farkless <laughs> Distillery. And I love the name, very movie themed name, Double Wood Indemnity. So uh, Kelvin very nice, uh, and a very group nice. of our whiskey nerds did this bottling, and um, it's going to power us through the, or at least power me through the auction today. But so that is not available the... to the general public, correct? That is a private label. No, right? correct. That's... Yeah, yeah. They're, they they own the cask, and then they bottle it uh, for themselves and give out to friends and get very drunk on their own supply. That's the very plan. Very nice. Very nice. Um, but it's very nice. They did a, what a, they did what a, a really what a excellent fabulous job. waste of money. Let me know when you regret that purchase as we're looking at the catalog. Just let me know when you start to add up what you're going to buy and go, oh man, I shouldn't have bought that whiskey. I just got <laughs> the free, I just got the free, <laughs> the free, oh. <laughs> the free friend bottle, Dave. Oh, okay. Well, then that's um, pretty good. That's pretty good. Then. Yeah. 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 It's, um, it's all good. It's all gravy for me. All right. So, uh, shall we, uh, yep, I got move, it open. On in? Scary clown. Yep. All right, now I'm, I'm looking at the a, next page. Is that is that looks like a, a bat cave of some sort of matte bat cave painting or something? Matte painting, maybe, perhaps. Yeah, that's interesting. I think so. Don't know, but what not I'm called out. At. Nope. So day one is the is the heavy hitter lots. So that's uh, one through uh, 523. Good lord, dear lord. <laughs> and that's on June 28th. And then day two. Uh, so that's the live auction at the Peterson Automotive Museum. So that's June 28th. That's the key event to go to. Days two and three are the kind of uh, you know, more affordable uh, lots, uh, and those are going to be online only. So the live auction will only be for that first day. So day two, um, June 29th, which are the sort of more affordable things, is lots 524 through 1014. And then day three is June 30th, and that's lots 1015 through 46,008. So there's 46,000 lots in this auction. No. Uh, through 1487. <laughs> um, it seems like there's 46,000, but uh, let us let us continue. Uh, page six, uh, a lovely reminder of the X-Wing I lost with the price that I lost it for. So that's a nice, yeah. hi, how are you? <laughs> Is this a good omen or a bad omen? It's a really omen terrible how, omen. It makes me want to close these, the catalog, but so be it. Yeah. How do these work? Like a punch in the face. Sure. Well, they yeah. couldn't have known I was going to look at this catalog. Oh, no, wait. Um, and then day one know, art, yeah. day one art, that looks like something from the thing, if I, if I, if I know what that uh, is. I believe so. I think that's yeah. the end thing thing, uh, which looks very cool and actually in incredibly good condition. So we'll look forward to getting to that uh, in the late second half of this podcast when we're in the tease. We will get um, to that somewhere in, I don't know, November, I'm guessing. But yeah. 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 Um, um, but let us dig so, in, uh, shall we? Yep. Yep. So lot one, uh, not 2001. It's no silverware. It's actually 2010, the year we make contact. It's a, uh, it's a study model of the Discovery, uh, which looks very cool. Very cool. There was just a regular Discovery model from 2010. I think maybe it was in the Julian's auction, I want to say. Yeah. And I guess this I think, is a... I think you're right. This is a study model, also mm -hmm. very cool looking. Um, you know, incredible ship design, 2010. I, you know, I, uh, it's, yeah. you, you, I'm torn. I don't know ever what to say. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. But, but cool. And from uh, Boss Films, I don't know. Interesting, but I guess for me. Uh, interesting, but see. yeah, yeah. Three ten um, Yuma. You can I actually see, really yeah. love that movie. It's it's. I really wish. You that know, third I feel like I remember that. I remember you really liking it, and I feel like. Go ahead. 
Yeah, no, I, I do. And I just, I, if the third act was just a, just a bit smarter, tighter, um, that's, uh, that's, um, Russell Crowe calling to yell at us. <laughs> um, I'm now turning off my stuff. So sorry. <laughs> yeah. All good. Um, and uh, yeah, no, I really like the film and I really like this costume and that hat is really terrific too. And the, the hat band, it's just, it's, it's a great ensemble. And he had a cool gun in that movie with the little, um, the gold cross, uh, kind of inlaid in the handle. It's just, it's just a cool stuff movie. And it's, it's like fantastically cast and the action is really cool. And the Ben Wade character, it's just, I, I don't know. I think it's a really, really cool movie and the 4k, um, disc is just a zinger i mean just if you want to really I just, test your video and sound uh it's a it's a great reference i gotta go back that. to that because i just remember i don't know i guess i remember wanting to like it more but i have not seen it since the theater so it's been a while and certainly oh, not okay. on 4k but uh yeah it was one planting, of the um, are you planting was, your flag here on lot two are you ready no, to say i don't think this so. is my it's big purchase like, for the auction <laughs> No, no. <laughs> I think it falls outside of my my uh, my my the time range, the uh, the the period that I I collect in, and I don't want to get distracted. Um, but uh, yeah, it was. I think that was the first film maybe that I saw at Landmark Theaters when it opened, mm -hmm. and I remember like just as the train pulled into the station, the fire alarm went off because somebody burned popcorn downstairs. So we had to go stand outside for half an hour, <laughs> like as the three ten to Yuma came into the station. But then we went back in and finished. Good timing. The Good timing. <laughs> so, um, so lot three is a Spartan soldier yep, uh, costume. Those, those are always super been around. Cool. They're always really cool, but this is nice and complete, so that's okay. A little. Yeah. A little too much muscular definition for my taste on the mannequin chest, but I guess such is life. Uh, yeah, it's meant to. Um, it's meant to be aspirational, Dave. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, mannequin aspirational. Um, this is really cool. Lot four. Um, uh, you know, again, very cool. a, a very flawed movie, and yet uh, this is from the Abyss. But this is the one quarter scale inch submarine model from uh, the Abyss, and. Uh, it, it's really great looking. I mean, it's a really great it's, miniature. It's neat. I mean, it's just badass. Yeah, it's neat. I mean, um, yeah. I will say a badass uh, estimate, I'm going to say. I mean, I guess it's a great miniature yeah, from a Cameron high. movie, but 75 to 150, woo, okay. But but hey, maybe that's also where we are these days. I don't know. But it's great looking. I mean, it's really great looking. It's yeah. got a little person in it, too. <laughs> Yeah, it does. It does. Um, that's very cool. That's, I think that's Mary Elizabeth Master Antonio, actually. Is that who he's supposed to be? Okay. That's funny. I think so, because look at the next lot, Dave. Oh, yes, you're right. Lindsay's costume. Yeah. If you, if I had no remembrance that her name was Lindsay, and, but so be it. But yeah, no, that is her costume. Yeah. The, uh... I just remember that that um, scene where he's slapping her, screaming at her to come back to life. To come back to life, and she um, does, yeah. 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 Uh, um, I would also say I, the rumor has it directly from uh, uh, John Landau's mouth himself that the abyss is finally coming to 4K. One of the famous sort of lost big movies uh, from oh, that's Cameron's catalog that never He's hit. He's finally going to do it because that never never did Blu-ray. Uh, it never did Blu-ray at all. So there's real no high def uh, thing of that around. And if there is, it's a bad one, digital sort of upscale thing. So anyway. But uh, but um, you know, good good year to um sell some. And do we have any prop. sense? Do we know? Aren't there aren't there like isn't there like a director's cut and all of that kind of stuff of that movie as well? Didn't they like it got cut it got cut down or something? I thought. Yeah, Am the I special making? edition or something, something like that. Yeah, yeah I, I wonder I, if it'll I'm be not, that. Yeah, I'm not as conversant uh, in we in will, that. I couldn't tell you the difference. I actually do. I do like do like the movie, but it, it is flawed as you as you said. Um. It's another two uh, actor, have, you know, again, you were talking about uh, 310 to Yuma. It's two, it's, it feels like two good acts and then yeah. act three. Mm, yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, lot six is interesting just cause I, uh, you know, it's a hand drawn Alfred Hitchcock silhouette, which was this sort of, sort of his, his logo. I don't know what else yeah. to call it from the old yeah. Alfred Hitchcock's present dun, show. Dun, 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 yeah. Dun. Dun, I don't know. Dun, dun, it's dun, really dun, cool. Dun, dun. Um, I'm not dun, sure anyone dun, dun, remembers, dun, but it's dun, really cool. Dun, dun, you know? dun, dun, dun. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, that is that is super cool. It would just look great in a frame in somebody's yeah. office. Uh, this is very cool. Lot eight. Yep. This is very very cool. Kane's, Kane's shirt. Uh, Nostromo shirt, the crew shirt, which is uh, 
when uh, John Hurt is walking around the Nostromo before he has his uh, his little event Where there. Where his dinner is interrupted. Um, yeah. <laughs> no spoilers, I always love that yeah. scene in Spaceballs. Oh, no, not again. Um, which, of course, as a as a uh, eight-year-old was my first exposure to <laughs> To alien was That's very funny. Very so you knew what you knew what it was because of that, and it's like it's like me with yeah. Mad Magazine. Like there are movies where I read the yeah. Mad Magazine yeah. parody, and then I saw the movie. You know, yeah. um, uh, it's right. a nice shirt. That's a very cool costume piece from obviously a great movie. Yeah, it's it's great. And given what Brett's hat did in the last auction, I think the ten to twenty estimate is pretty low. So we'll see how that goes. I feel like the hat is a little more. I don't know. There's something about the hat more than the shirt. I don't know. I think like in terms mm, of interesting. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but who would want it? I don't know. There's something, and also the yeah. patch is a little more bigger and more color. I don't know. Who knows? This is this is an arbitrary discussion of hats versus shirts. Um, yeah, yeah. But I, I I really like that, and I don't have anything alien out here because my spacesuit's too big. So I will certainly keep an eye on that one. Um. Uh, Nostromo uh, n- Lot 9, the detonator sequence bolt, which is very cool because those really yep. feature in that end they, sequence from yep, R- Ripley's you, self-destructing you recognize the movie. it tremendously. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Uh, yeah. Ripley's watch from Alien. Which is neat. Casio, that's very cool looking. Yeah, and a neat display. Yep. Production uh, made. Uh, oh, uh, Yeah, production made, this one, uh, Ian Home. Does look like it's in more uh, new kind of uh, hanger yeah, fresh a condition unworn. than the, the cane one does. But, but it has all cool. the patches uh, and stuff, which is kind of cool. It looks like it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's kind of neat. And I love that character. That's such a cool character. Colonial Marines headset. Those are always cool. Yep, would look good on neat. a display. Where if you didn't have a helmet and you had you had armor, uh, you know, you could do that. I could do that with my Hudson display actually. If I want, I was going to say, do you feel the need to put that under your helmet, like to have it to add it? I don't have a helmet, but I. Oh, you don't have. I would I say you instead of, in lieu of. Oh, you know, I would. Well, I guess say, well, that's then, the if thing. you had that, if you had the helmet, would you want it also? Um, no. But I was no. saying because I don't have a helmet, it might be interesting to stick it on a, yeah, you know, with the armor on like a mannequin head. You know, if that was peeking above the armor, it could be an interesting way to go. Um, but uh, probably not for me. But uh, very cool for anybody that likes Alien. Aliens, all that stuff is very distinct. Uh, this is interesting. The motion tracker screen, lot 13. Uh, this is a, um, I believe it's a side, uh, sl- I'm sorry, s- slide viewer thing. It's the same one that they used for the um, those things in Star Wars, the the original movie in the uh, sort of detention area when, you know, when they're blasting the things that look like cameras out of the wall. Um, the one with all of those little, you know, the bent, the cur- sort of curved glass. Right, so they, they shoot up at the top. Slide yeah. viewer. Yeah. And um, it's interesting about the motion tracker because that's a kind of iconic piece from Aliens that has never shown itself. The hero did, but the hero is sort of the close up version where you go in for inserts. So it's very cool because it works, but it doesn't look like the motion tracker with right. all it the dummy kind of, props. It was kind of giant in a weird way, is what I remember about yes. it. Like it was unwieldy. Yes. It had because wires it was, coming yeah, out. Yeah, all sorts of wires right. and stuff. Yeah. And it's very neat. It's just not the one that they carry around. But none of the, as many as they had, none of those dummy motion trackers ever showed up. So everybody was kind of like, where did the motion trackers go? So it's neat that they have a screen, uh, which would indicate that <laughs> something was around at some point. Um, and very cool. Uh, the Bug Stomper Dropship Ejection Seat Handle, uh, which is which is neat. Um, yeah. That's uh, when uh, Pharaoh tries to, um, you know, Bust out of the uh, out of the um, out of the ship, uh, out of the drop ship, and um, yeah, just just cool piece of kit. Interesting that that survived um, this long post production. That and, definitely um, feels like something someone would have just sort of taken as like a sort of a fun. I'm just going to take this, right. you know what I mean? Like as opposed right, to right. yeah. <laughs> uh terry english um, replica we can skip and those over. are great That's okay they're very I had, fun yeah, yeah i mean they're they're cool they're just super great and i i had one at one point um that was a hudson set and um they're just they're awesome and they're made by him the same way he made them for the movie uh super cool but this one wasn't uh, yours detailing. this isn't yours that has recirculated uh it's possible i wouldn't be oh. able to tell i mean i sold it i sold it a 15 years, years ago, ago. So, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah um but i i would doubt it but yeah, anything is possible 
Um, a whole uh, bunch actually, of, I would say oh. unlikely that it is because I put the camo cover on the helmet, and this helmet is camo cover less. Gotcha. So I don't think it's mine. Kept it. Yes, exactly. I would guess. Um, um, a bunch of alien resurrection, alien versus predator. I'm going to just skip all over this if that's okay. That's totally fine yeah. with me. Uh, item 20, Jim Lovell's Lunar Surface Cuff Checklist. I like that movie. I like that movie a lot. That uh, is neat. Yeah. Yeah. Not sure I need anything from it, but I like that movie a lot. But that's kind of yeah. cool. Uh, and here's from... your... your... Aquaman my, my props, chance Dave. to finally get my Aquaman props. Um, Long last. Boy, I saw that movie and I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Uh, all right, more fun. Let's get into the Back to the Future stuff. Um, 22 is a clock tower newspaper, which would frame up gorgeously. But 23 was the piece I was intrigued by because I feel like in, in our many years of lots and lots of Back to the Future stuff, I've never seen this Biff Tannen puppet old biff tan and puppet that i'm assuming yeah. went in a miniature but that's just kind of great looking i i love it you know yeah probably a delorean miniature when he yeah when that's he what stole it looks the like and was yep. traveling around let's see um, the pepsi yep. bottle for which use is in the pepsi delorean perfect, model is... miniature yep sorry i was just reading oh sorry yep no no worries yep pepsi perfect we've seen those before oh my god another sports <laughs> almanac very exciting holy shit the sports <laughs> almanac Finally, at long last the I one get the, the true last the, the one the only one. Oh wait no. yeah um uh, it's an incredible prop it's a very key prop i we make fun of it because you can't have an auction without having a, a sports mm -hmm. annual at this point um these are neat to see. We're seeing some of the other, uh, the other. Uh, I guess the these gang, are yeah. These are the gang exactly. Uh, Which dare I say to steal my co-host's uh, key key catchphrase? Um, I think these are cooler <laughs> than. I think these are like cooler designs. I just do. I think they're awesome. So this is uh, data and spikes hoverboards, lot 26 and 27. Uh, they see uh, 20 to 40 thousand dollar estimates on each, which is healthy. But given what the other hoverboards have done. Uh, seems, yeah, I mean, I think that's in reasonable. relation to the other ones, although I couldn't tell you whether anyone specifically is looking for these. But yeah, great designs. Again, a, you know, great, you know, again, two and three continue to be great prop movies. You know, they're, yeah, I, they're not the original to me. And I continue to say that, uh, but so be it. Yeah. Um, a full size DeLorean replica uh, looks wonderful. Wow. Uh, yeah. Got got no room just got no room so let's just go right to 29 yeah uh well this is pretty cool wow uh oh yeah got, look at that a, i'm gonna i'm going in for detail this is a uh item number 29 michael keaton bat suit from uh 89 batman um really great looking let's see Original foam latex cowl with pointed ears, original foam latex torso armor and hip armor on a production yeah. made undersuit without zipper at the back from Batman and a fabric based latex cape from Batman Returns. Okay. Um, okay. Capes in the then, sequel are nearly identical. Yep. Costume is mounted to a custom body form. Uh, replica, replica gloves. Replica boots. Uh and a replica belt belt okay replica chest emblem too so you're getting oh. kind of like body armor cape cowl it looks like um huh. all which look in pretty decent shape given that it's 89 um i would probably go for a i think the pose is okay but i don't i don't the, love the uh painted the face, face is the worst thing i've ever seen in my life i'm sorry this is this i i would I don't know what it would cost to take it off this head and replace it, but you have got to build that into your thing. Um, I, I don't know. I find yeah. the flesh, the flesh, there's a Michael, basically it looks like, I guess a Michael Keaton face under there. It looks like him, but uh, just craziness with the flesh coloring and the eyes that look like they're bugging out. I, this is, I, I actually, I like this item less because of the, the face. I'm sorry. Uh, I just, a, not a, yes, he not looks how I would surprised. display it and leave it at that, I guess, but yikes. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, this is, this seems like a good project for Spina. Like I, you know, I think if you, if, if you grab this, the estimate's very fair. Um, I think, uh, I think you could really make something really 
you know, elegant museum like out of this. And there are other pieces around too that, you know, there are gloves. That's and boots the thing. And I think you could you, actually you could piece work it, on it. You could over time. piece it together. Yeah. And an emblem and, you know, yeah. Yeah. So Definitely could piece it together, about. which I don't know. Do you have a desire to have a Hulk? I mean, I, obviously you, you love Batman. Where does your desire for a full costume fit in your world? Uh, I'm sort of happy with what I have. Honestly, I am. Because uh, I, I would never, with living in the city here, sure, uh, I would never have room for it. So this would go into storage, and then you know, would I sell the other pieces and and whatever? And I think for for now, I'm really just really happy with what I have, to be honest. But I mean, I could have my mind changed sometime in the future. I might regret it, but um, but I think I'm um, just curious. If I had I've nothing, always... I right. would be after this. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I have to say, I've always enjoyed. I think the idea of, I mean, I love the 89 Batman and I love Keaton I, somehow seeing the full costume. I, I'm talking about the movie more than the prop. This is, I'm separating two things. Although for me, the movie is what judges the prop, if that makes sense. And yeah, I don't know. The full costume almost takes some of the mystery away. I've actually, I think I enjoy it more when you're just looking at like the cow and not thinking about the rest of it. I don't know. That's it's a very strange thought, but I don't know. It just, yeah, uh, but I, I, yeah, there's a simplicity to so it. I like your setup. It. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but wow, that face is weird. Um, sorry. Uh, hmm. Continuity uh, photos. That's cool. This was like around before. That, right? Yeah. That came from the high, collection. At a higher estimate. Yeah, this seems Was that a little from bit more... the uh, the costume designer. Maybe I can't remember or something. Yes, I, yes, okay. yes. I think I believe I believe so. Um, I mean, it would it would have been his originally, right? Certainly, uh, and Bob Ringwood had, says his name on the cover. But um, these are super cool, and this is actually definitely something that I will look at because uh, I just love that movie. And do and we I think, think we, this didn't yeah, sell? Like do you remember this not sell? It didn't or sell. This, it didn't sell. It didn't sell. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, because I was on the phone when it came up, and I just I just couldn't justify the price in my head. Do you uh, remember what the number was? Price. I think it was 10K pounds, and this is starting gotcha. at 8, 8K US. So so it is a much more, much lower price, but this is something I will keep an eye on. Oh, look at this, 33. Now this is how you do a Batman. Sorry, this is, look at that face. Yeah, yeah, look at that. So 33 is a Batman return suit, and they yeah. have it on a similar, it may even be, for all we know, the same mold of Michael Keaton's face. But this one is sort of all blue, I guess, for lack of a better word, and therefore yeah. less human. Uh, and dare I say, a lot, this 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 one looks better to me. Sorry, just in terms of displays. I realize yeah, the this belt, is not about and the problem. Emma Mara replica, lead, leather gloves armor boot foam boot covers which are added to complete the display but it's more original and it is it is a better and the cowl is in great shape for returns which is the really cowl cool is actually really good looking yeah this yeah. is a really nice piece i mean that one it really looks yeah there's a fierceness to it that it's really cool yeah. i think yeah yeah so on this one uh, you would need a, a belt and an emblem right and boots boots are right belt emblem too. boots gloves yeah gloves like. sorry yeah. gloves are too okay yeah. And it is up uh, at a slightly higher number because more of it is real, but yeah. really nice looking. Really the ears are extra sharp in a good way. Uh yeah. that's really yeah, nice really looking. cool. And and most of the, the the returns cowls uh you know disintegrated pretty badly. So to have one in this condition is pretty exciting. Thirty four are pieces of uh Selena uh Kyle Catwoman, uh Michelle Pfeiffer. Uh fabulous costume. This would need a little love, a little TLC it looks like. Yeah, I don't quite know. I, I'm sure someone could do something, uh, but it ain't going to be me. Um, but yeah. could be great. I think it's a project. Yeah, it's like I think it's a project. Great costume, but but it is a pro it is a project. That seems like a I great would, job yeah, for I would, Tom Spina Designs. Yeah, I would definitely be talking to Tom before I cast a bid. Quite honestly, and just to make sure, you know, what he thought yeah. he could do or not do, and. I'd want to know. I'd want to talk to them about its brittleness and whatnot. Just, just curious. I want to know everything I could about this. This is one I'd want to see in person if I was thinking about the project. But I, boy, if it was done right and on the right mannequin, I mean, boy, that would look incredible. Yeah, incredible. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Um, um, and there's our map. So there's painting. the map. We were painting. correct. Yep. Okay, but Batman Returns, Batman which Returns. I would not have guessed. I didn't remember that. Um, but Very it's cool. really yeah. cool. Yeah. 
I wonder if this is a glass one. That's always my worry with those. It probably, I'm sure it is. Does it say? It just uh, says large map painting. It does not painting. say. Large map painting. I guess it might not. Might not. Uh, rendered mixed media on glass. There oh, you go. Oh, never mind. Handmarked BM71. Well, if you put it Yeah, the into concern a, with those is always. If you framed it, though, if you put it into a frame. If you frame the glass. Yeah. Yes. Which I think you could do and frame it. I, I don't know whether it's glass on glass or plexi on glass. I feel yeah. like that would protect it, obviously. Probably plexi on glass would protect it. Right. Um, boy, I mean, that's gorgeous. I, I'll leave it's it at amazing. that. It's just a great piece of art. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is cool. 37, this is a hand-painted uh, cobble pot for Mayer. Yes, not uh, a screen print. Not one, a screen yeah. print. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. And um, it's screen match, it said, too. Danny DeVito um, as the penguin. Very neat, very neat. Yeah. Um, we've got a a bat boat miniature, uh, thirty eight, bat yep. ski boat. It's called, I guess. Uh, yeah. There was a moment in those movies where, like, they would. It was always. It was like the 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 the, the bat. Uh, the, you know, the plane in the first one too, where he'd pull out the super vehicle, drive it somewhere, and it would immediately get blown up. That's my memory of both <laughs> those movies. You know what I mean? Where it's just like yeah. it immediately. You know, it does a cool flies up blocks the moon and then gets shot down and i feel like this boat did too didn't it like they got in the boat to get somewhere and then instantly it got blown up that's that's my memory of it's been a while yeah i think i think so it does it does get more action though i think than the batmobile did in the movie uh now we're into batman forever so i'm gonna keep moving if that's okay with you (laughs) yeah i will forever Uh, yeah pass on that movie yeah some battlestar galactica keep moving get to 43 yeah. we've got some better call saul stuff this stuff yeah, uh, now cool. the show has ended has been around this is cool stuff uh very yeah. neat I, it's funny dave i'm working with uh i'm working with one of the producers on uh on that, on that movie or on that show and uh have kind of shown her into into our little weird collecting world and a lot of that stuff has been up for auction and being right. hitting big numbers from that and breaking bad which she also worked on and uh, I, I keep showing her things and her mind is just continually blown right there's She's just like, stuff that was on the set all of that right. stuff with yeah. me yeah yeah <laughs> i was like and now you learn so i imagine there's going to be missing helmets and and swords and, keep your eye on her yeah um <laughs> drapes everywhere now on on the show a uh, couple of things from Beverly Hills Cop 1 and 2. We've got uh, Axel's uh, ID badge from 2. and Which uh, is very Billy, cool. Yeah, very neat. I mean, I won over 2. Uh, they got Billy Rosewood, yes. which is Judge Reinhold's uh, badge from 1, which was very fun. Uh, Judge Reinhold, who played Judge Judge Reinhold on Arrested Development. By the way, uh, now I'm going to – I wasn't going to say anything, but now you've said it, so I get to say it. Uh we actually did that joke on the Clerks animated show. Uh, I don't think they knew that because really? no one watched the Clerks animated show. But we had Judge Judge Reinhold in uh, <laughs> episode four of the Clerks animated show, um, and oh, basically, Dave, I'm sense for you. Yeah, no, I know it's one of those. There were a couple of things in Clerks that in the Clerks animated show that Kevin Smith and I did uh, with Scott Mosier too, where. I just no one watched it, but we did these jokes like way before other people did. And it's always just this very strange thing. Again, I don't think anybody watched it and stole it. And obviously the man's name is Judge yeah. Reinhold, but we did it, you know, years before, which is just a very strange thing. Uh, <laughs> we also did a dream sequence where he he wakes the judge. Judge Judge Reinhold has a dream where it's just him and Axel Foley sticking bananas into thousands of different tailpipes. That was his like nightly dream. And then he wakes up and Axel's gone and he's very sad. That was the other the other uh, uh, yeah. the other part of the episode. Episode four. So check that out, please. Um, yeah. Skipping over by Centennial um, Man. I will Sorry, edit my on. joke and say that that no. uh, Judge Reinhold also played Judge Judge Reinhold in the Kirk's Clerks. And the Kirk. Animated Kirk's and Clerks, yeah. Anyway, sir. Um, so Lot 48 is uh, Robin Williams uh, Bicentennial Man costume. This has always been a very cool costume. The movie's not for me, but... Um, I don't even think cool it's a cool costume. costume. I actually... I don't know. It just... I don't know. It's... I don't All know right. what it Dave's is. Dave's a hater. Yeah. yeah. I do not... Should we talk about The Big Lebowski and how I'm, I might be one of the only people on Earth that doesn't like The Big Lebowski? Do you really not? I, I yeah, enjoy not, it, but not, I don't worship it's at its altar. That, so that's where yeah. I am. So I guess we're... we're 
where two people that don't like love it, love it, love it, but although you don't like it at all or just don't don't care or actively don't like it. Um, no, it's more that I don't care and and the sort of the the worshiping annoy just annoys me. Um, I, I just it's just it it it's one of those things that just. I'm kind of allergic to it. I don't, it's one of those, it's just one of those popular things that I'm allergic to. I have friends that were out here about a year or two ago uh, and were visiting and they're from here originally, or one of them is, and they literally, some of their trip was going to like three or four places from the big Lebowski. And I just shook my head. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. I don't get it, but I, 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 like I said, I, the movie's fine. I, the love, the the insane love. I don't know. Anyway, yes, but so be it. Yeah, it feels like sort of odd stoner culture to me, and I I don't really quite get it. However, having said all that, the dude's robe, which I think would be the piece from the movie, um, is is in there, uh, lot fifty one, and I think that's very cool, just as a piece of movie history. And look, if the Big Lebowski came out this year because we live in a fucking terrible movie wasteland where everything sucks or has a superhero costume in it. Uh, I would be very excited about that movie. It's just, it's that movie in 1998 at that time. I just thought there was, there was stuff that was more for me going on in that particular period. And I also really enjoyed John Goodman's uh, sort of um, uh, uh, kind of thinly veiled uh, John Milius impersonation and his very like his very John Milius target shooter glasses are in this lot 52. And um, I think those are very cool. I uh, in the movie I particularly enjoy Goodman and uh, Totoro within within the film the film within the film yeah. is that's I, yeah, I particularly enjoyed. Um, they are nihilists. I, they believe in nothing. You know what it is? I I I, I, I can sum it up, and it, it'll make people annoyed. So I'll say it. I appreciated the fact that it was a Raymond Chandler esque detective story where the hero is an idiot who has no idea what's going on. Do you know what I mean? It's sort of, yeah. that was their take. And it's a really well done version of that, that I don't really care about. That's the easiest way I can <laughs> yeah. say it. Like, like that's not, I would rather have a Raymond Chandler movie than a Raymond Chandler movie where the guy at the center of it is an idiot. That, that's, that's the yeah. easiest way I can express it. So I appreciate the mystery. I appreciate all the pieces around it. I, I'm just looking here. I don't know if this is a prop guy or a longtime collector, but I mean, Somebody, this is maybe a, a collector selling. It's like all in here. This is a it's, treasure trove. Uh, if you are a, if you are yeah. not like me and Ryan and you love the big Lebowski, I mean, look at this stuff. I mean, the robe bunny's toe, the screen yeah. matched homework, the ransom. Yeah. Le- I mean, look at this. This is wild. The bowling ball, the screen match. Yeah, bowling, the bowling ball. ball. Holy wow, look at this. The, the tool flying belt. harness coveralls from the dream. Yeah. I mean, this is fantastic. The, the bowling magazine. ball, the bowling ball bags. That actually I do like because yeah. that's uh Buscemi and John Goodman. Turturro. That I actually like. No, it's not Taturos, yeah. it's not Jesus's. But oh, okay, uh, but it's from it's that Buscemi. sequence. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Uh, I actually really like the two bowling bags, but I would want to not use yeah. them as props. Dave's turning around, just, he's gonna be buying. No, some I just would want to use stuff. them as bags. I would just carry them yeah. as bags. That would be kind of fun. Um I mean, this is a treasure trove of Lebowski stuff. I mean, this is pretty cool. The dude's license plate. Indeed. I'm going to go out on a limb, and I'm going to say the dude's license plate, what they have in here for only like $1,500 to $3,000, is going to go crazy. I think someone's going to want bananas. that. Yeah. yeah, someone's going to want that maybe more than the toe. I don't know. But uh, this yeah. is a treasure trove. I mean, this is a... I will say the following. I love in a catalog when you come to a section like this. I mean, I just, that's, that's exciting to me. I mean, just, yeah, I mean, this is, yeah, it's like if you're, if you're a Lebowski guy and you were waiting, like, here you go, man, have at it. Yeah. I'm assuming it's a guy. (laughs) No, the person I know that likes it is a girl. So uh, no, no, no. There you uh, go. Yeah. So please. Um, There you go. This may be too much Lebowski stuff if you've been waiting. The big Lebowski, Dave. There you go. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, this might be too much Thank stuff. You. I don't know. Is there too much stuff? Is it possible there's yeah. too much stuff? I mean, this is going to go for some big bucks. I don't bucks. think so. Yeah. No, I think, I think this stuff is all very well, cool. And very it's sort cool. of, I like it too, because there's a spread of like, you know, if you have five grand, you can get something. And if you're, if you're like, if you're a deep pocketed big Lebowski guy, you can have it all or have a, you have the best piece or whatever. It's like, it's a good, it's a really good spread in that way. Really nice. Um, really, really uh, cool. Dave, your, your Blade Trinity display is here at last. Finally, finally with complete with a uh, shockingly lifelike Wesley Snipes head. 
Yeah. Oh, these mannequins, people, please. We Guys, have to do. We I feel like do, we're gonna have to do a whole I, I show like on mannequin it, heads. But we need to. We <laughs> need to do mannequin, mannequin like faces. Manic, manic etiquette or something. I would say like mannequin that etiquette. With, yeah, mannequin yeah. etiquette. Like this is not yes. helping anybody. Future show. Bart, take a note. We're doing mannequin yeah. etiquette as a future it's show. Like we a, we it's have like to a talk about this. Bad wax museum. It's like I don't get yeah. it. I mean, at least if you were buying something from a wax museum where you would go, well, this is how they displayed it. They've got a reason to yeah. do this. They're a wax museum. There is no reason for this. It looks like I don't know. It looks like it looks like Wesley Snipes with some sort of a chromosomal deficiency that has stretched out his head in a way that I don't know how to describe it. I'm sorry. This is just makes me actually. Yeah. Have you cuckoo. soaked him yeah. in water for, uh, <laughs> when or Blade ran Trinity over him for 20 ran years over him with a steamroller in a, in a cartoon. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And Roger rabbit. Yeah, yeah exactly. That that's what he would look. His head yeah. would stretch out. Yeah. Um, uh, it's but a fine cost. Lots, lot 65. You've I'm always wanted excited. one of these, as I remember. Didn't you always want to hero one of these? Didn't you have uh, a stunt yes. or something? You got rid of yes, it? Yes, and, and I was I was looking for specifically a hero from Blade One, and this seems to be it. A lot originally sourced from a member of the film's prop department consists of one metal sword with an aluminum blade inset into a ribbed machined aluminum grip. Yeah, I mean that's 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 the thing. Uh, the grip is a neck collar seen in the film, no functionality. It's not the special effects, but it is a hero. And that, uh, that's very exciting. I will just nod in silence. Uh, it's, it, I, I remember it. I had no interest, but I remember it, you know, so, so be cool. It. Uh, I like I 66. Saw that movie like five times in the theater in 1998. Did you really? The year wow. Big Lebowski came out. I was watching Blade, <laughs> the Blade so it's, Lebowski. It's funny that they're no. right next to each other. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and also, by the way, again, a nice display of stuff from this movie as well. Frost's full yeah. size exploding body display. I mean, that's really cool. Uh, yeah. You yeah. Get the sword cool. and then put that right next to it. That'll be good in your place. Yeah. I like that. Uh, a stunt sword. That's what you had and got rid of, right? At some point, you had a stunt. I had a I had a blade two thing, oh, and it just gotcha. wasn't right. Oh. No, I never had anything from blade one. Yeah. I just turned the page, and now I see what you must have known about. Holy shit. Yes. Yeah. 68. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Pretty, wow. It's pretty great. Rick pretty Deckard's great. screen matched and photo matched costume from the Voight Kampf and Roy Batty fight scenes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And shoes. Yep. Wow. And shoes. Yeah. Wow. And shoes, which is, uh, those are the first pair of shoes to ever show up. Yeah. So this is the shirt that I have, which is from the fight scene. Um, and is that Correct. also got the, is that the tear? Is that why we can see a little bit there? Because that's the yeah. same, the piece that yeah. they ripped but for the hand. Oddly, it looked like in the photo that I saw that this shirt was, the tear is a little higher on him. Like mine sits right at the sort of belt line. This this tear okay. appears to be a little higher. So I don't, I don't know. Um, but yes, and it and it's, so it's not the trench coat, uh, but it is a full blazer shirt, trousers, shoes and you can tell they've really been through the war uh in a great way uh the distress on this the dist i mean i'm just looking at the the shoes are incredible unto themselves just the level of distress on all of this is so great this is my favorite line in every in any catalog ever one original shoelace from production is included while the laces include currently on the shoes are replicas <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that's my favorite day three of a future ever. auction you know Blade Runner, Let me show you my shoelace collection. Come and shoelace. see my shoelace and magazine yeah. collection um, and my Holy Grail collection. Does the guy, the, we know the guy that has the trench coat. We won't say his name to keep his anonymity. Yeah. Would he ever go after this to put it all together somehow or probably I think he might. not? I mean, I think, I think yeah. he might be interested. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think if anything, he would, and this is like a one-stop shop and then you put the trench coat on top of this and you have his, essentially his costume from the final, you know, tears and rain sequence, which is just, I mean, God, that's just incredible. That's insane. All it's missing is a creepy flesh colored, uh, Harrison Ford head. And I, if you buy <laughs> this, I will make yeah. you one. I will make you one. If you get this I just, will make you a handmade by Dave himself. Yeah. No, if anyone, I mean, main, I was meant for you, Ryan, but I'll do it for anyone that gets this. I'll make a, I'll make a Harrison Ford <laughs> terrible stretched out. Just hand. write the podcast. Yeah. Just let me know if uh, you win. You, um, use your Dave 10 code, <laughs> your stretched out head code. Um, wow. 
uh, what are your thoughts just blindly right now? Like, got to got to at least make a run. They got to try or it's got to explore. Uh oh. Um, yeah, I think I need to see the rest of the catalog, and also, you know, we know a well healed. What's going to be in the Blade rest Runner of what's, I want to know what do you think is going to be in the rest of the catalog that's going to be better than this for you? Just curious, just off the top of your head, name uh, a movie. I'm really hoping there's a <laughs> Poltergeist clown. Uh, in well, the, I don't your know. Your wish anything. may come true. Your wish may come true. Um, all right. Well, moving along. Uh, Couple Hooper little... likes it, which is good news. Yeah. Someone at our front door delivering a package of some sort. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Is it Sorry. a wax Harrison Ford head? Dave? <laughs> it's that arrived. Commission... Hooper, stretch it out. <laughs> it looks too good. <laughs> Chew it. A couple other Blade uh, Runner. These head. are always yeah. cool. Yeah. I love these. And I Dave... always. Yeah. Well, you go ahead. Oh, I go was always going to say, I always like the idea of like getting one of these and like putting my gun in front of it or making a display like that or something like that. That's how I've always thought about that. The, uh, the yeah. wall panels from the apartment that are, uh, what's his name? The, uh, Frank Lloyd Wright. Pei. Sorry, no, Jesus. Frank, Frank Lloyd Wright. Wright. Yeah, Sorry. Exactly. Dear God. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> we would uh, issue a correction. <laughs> Can um, we just take that long pause out that 11 minute pause no. of what's his name? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is all part um, of the magic of the show. Um, uh, Whiskey glasses? Is this your, is this your chance? Finally, I know, but Check it. real ones. Don't you want uh, the ones from the? Yeah, set? this is a real. I mean, no, I don't need those. But th <laughs> this is a real one. This is made. No, by, I know it's this the is set, made... but not from the yeah, set. I... Yeah, the set, but from yeah, the set. True. Yeah, very true. <laughs> but this is. I mean, this is made by um by 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 CB the um the, the same Italian crystal maker that makes it. And I just like yeah, they're they're great, but like no, <laughs> no. Uh, yes, but uh, no. Understood. Yeah, but I'm sure somebody will because they're great. I just not for me personally. Um, oh, check out seventy two. Cool. Oh, are you? Where the, are you? Sorry. Well, I was going to go seventy one. Oh, you're still doing um, seventy one. Just okay. those grips, because I have a there's a replica grip on my um, on my uh, stunt gun. That oh, was, I don't think that I knew was that. Done sort of. Yeah, but it was done. It's cool because it was sort of done at the time because it was a it was in a famous chain of restaurants that um, had Hollywood memorabilia in them. Uh, you you can just say it, Burger planet King. Planet of them. You can just say <laughs> Burger King. <laughs> and uh, and um, so they had actually commissioned it. So I I regard it as like mostly original, and I haven't really been fussed to do anything about it. But this would make me kind of think about. I don't think it. I realized that yours had that on it. Um, but yeah, no, you should definitely try, try and I think it feels like you should definitely try for that. That would be a pretty yeah. cool upgrade. Yeah. Uh, I think 72 is bananas. Cool. I mean, again, I don't know what the oh, hell you God, do with it, but it's so cool. Yeah. Uh, Richard from the Richard Edlin collection, a custom made 65 millimeter VFX matte camera used on Blade Runner and close encounters and close encounters. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this thing is wonderful looking uh and i love the uh the spielberg shot do you see that one on the right there there's a shot of him with yeah. the camera yeah from close um, encounters that's great yeah this thing is really cool god damn that's neat uh oh and then yeah, another that's, camera uh, D doug Sorry. trumbull uh and then what's the second camera this is another this is a boss films vfx company 65 millimeter Mitchell FC camera. And does it say what it was used on? Let's see. Yeah, that's super cool. Wow, these Sometimes are so cool. these things have. I've always wanted one of these things and I just don't. I, I don't know. I never leap on it, but maybe. I have maybe one. I have, an ILM, I have an ILM one that was used on uh, Temple of Doom, among other things. Mm -hmm. And they're really neat. Sometimes they have serial numbers that you can find uh what movie they were used on i'm assuming they would identify it if they knew so i'm guessing they were not able to identify it because obviously that would add to the selling price much unlike the way the other one is from uh, uh blade runner they do look really neat especially if you get one of the old style uh wooden tripods you know sort of like that you know that no one mm -hmm. uses anymore which they would have used back then or whatever and uh they just i don't know they look great i mean they they're it's yeah, they, a really they look incredible in, yeah it's a really in a room cool or in thing. an office yes, exactly. or in like a movie theater room or whatever it is yeah it's really yeah. cool i am a fan um well that's really cool um 
I, I get a kick out of 74 and 75. It's a Dirk Diggler <laughs> yeah. costume and a Roller Girl costume. I mean, they're just yeah. kind of wonderful. That's, I guess, from when yeah. he wins the award. Uh, he wins the the porn award or something, I think, from yeah. at the end. But that's a great-looking costume. Uh, and, uh, yeah, there's just really neat. Uh, then we've got some uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula uh, matte paintings. They're very pretty, very cool looking. Yeah, yeah, incredible. Oh wow, seventy eight. Look at this. Yeah, William Mel- Wallace is of Clan Wallace. His, yeah, uh, his, his Scottish Claymore. Claymore sword. Very healthy number. Uh, oh, look at this. This is oh, another. Again, I don't know if it's a prop guy or a collection, but uh, an insane amount of. Oh wow, some. Braveheart stuff. Um, you know, I I do like the movie, but sorry, pass for me. <laughs> the the Mel Gibson anti Semite pass. So sorry, sorry, can't separate the guy from the stuff. Uh, not for me. Uh, you can say anything you like, Ryan, but move. I'm. I'll just stay quiet. Uh, but Davies, Detective Martin Riggs. Yeah, I know. Um, sorry. Yeah, this is all very, very cool. And anybody who's a Braveheart fan, here you go. I mean, or a fan of anti Semites here, or a fan of anti Semites. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, just whatever. <laughs> Which, by the way, it's growing pickle. in popularity here in the states. So yeah, no, it's good for everyone. Um, yeah, look, it's a lot of stuff. Do as you will. I, I got to move on. I'm Great sorry. Great movie. Great movie. Separate the art from the artist. I know. Can't. Um, can't. Uh, Breaking Bad, a bunch of Breaking Bad stuff. Uh, not yep. stolen by your producer, but good stuff. Uh, yep. Although, oh, once again, nice uh, 87, the uh, wax figure heads. I just uh, continue. I'm just going to call them out every better. time. These are They're better. They're better. They are better. But... The I feel like the Walter White is better than the Jesse. That doesn't look like yeah. Aaron Paul. Uh, but, but again, ugh. Yeah. Yuck. Yuck. He's yuck, not looking yuck. at us, I guess, but... Uh, now we're in the Bruce Lee section that every prop auction seems to have these days, which is all interesting. It's just very funny that this continues to be sort of, there's always just a couple of pages of like Bruce Lee karate stuff. (laughs) Yeah. It's like, but it's it's like, it's no, it's great. It's all great. It's just funny. Like if you were doing a parody auction catalog, you would have this section. You would know like, oh, now we got to do the Bruce Lee section. We got to make fun of that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I always like his sunglasses. Eighty nine. He always had those very cool yeah, those specific are, those sunglasses. Are cool. I like the I like the Jeet Kune Do drawings too. His like they're how-tos. neat. They're those wonderful. Are, of course, are, yeah. They're cool. Yeah, and the center line theory. Um, that's very cool. The Just nunchucks the from the Green Hornet. Not specifically that they are from the Green Hornet. But just I, you know, when I think of Bruce Lee, I think of this the the those you know the speed yeah. of those nunchucks, and so that I don't know that. I guess if I were going to have a Bruce Lee thing, I, that's a cool one. Anyway, wherever that fits That is in. a cool one, yeah. yeah. Um, some Buffy the Vampire stuff. Very nice looking. Yep. Uh, I get a kick out of the... 1990. The 19... Yeah, America. Matt Salinger's Captain America shield from the, the Captain America... Like, was it a canon movie? Or a, I don't even... I think it was a canon movie, right? Is that what it was? Yeah, Captain I think America? so, yeah. right? Yeah. Like one of the... Yeah. That is wonderfully awful. Boy, that would be Funded fun Funded through yeah. arms deals. Yeah. yeah. Still be very fun to have. Well, we want to take a quick minute from our three-hour prop store uh, catalog ad to do an ad for, well, prop store, I guess, uh, which just really I'm the very not auction sure that we're talking is. about. Yes, yeah. exactly. This seems brought to you by Julian. Brought to you by Julian's. Oh. Thank you, Julian's, for paying for this. So uh, they only sponsored yeah. this ad. They didn't sponsor yeah. the episode. Yeah. No, not the episode, Anyone but listen- just this ad. Yeah. Julian's anyone wants listen- you to know that anyone listening to this episode knows that the next big prop store auction is coming June 28th through 30th in Los Angeles. And Julian's wants you to know the entire event will be broadcast live from the Peterson Automotive Museum and that day one, June 28th, will be open to the public for all in-person bidding at prop store. And Julian wants you to, Julian's wants you to know that. Julian himself wants you to know that. Ryan? That's right. <laughs> there will be a, that's julian the guy that answers the phone over at the catalog and either either hates his life or loves it we can't figure it out yes, there will be a total of other, of over 1400 items in this auction jesus follow along with this episode and check out the full catalog now at propstore.com but before you bid in prop stores june 28th to 30th live 
Los Angeles Entertainment Memorabilia Live Auction, it's always best to do your research. And there are a number of ways that Prop Store helps you do that. And Julian's wants you to know these ways that Prop Store can help you do your research. Number one, the Peterson Museum preview event. Prop Store will be hosting a VIP event with food and drinks from 5 to 10 p.m. on Saturday, June 24th on the fourth floor of the Peterson Museum, where over 100 items from the auction will be on display for you to view in person. As a special guest, Prop Store has invited Robbie Freeling, who played Oliver Robbins in Poltergeist, who will talk about his experience with the evil clown, which will be one of the featured lots in the auction. To RSVP for the event, send an email to supportla at propstore.com. That's supportla at propstore.com or call 818-727-7829. And I thought I was going to be there, but the 24th, I'm out of town. So I will not be there. So sorry, later, whenever I say... I'm going to be there. I ain't going to be there. So don't say hello to me. I will not be there. Sorry, Prop Store and Julian's. Go on, office visit. <laughs> There's an office visit available. If you're in Los Angeles, you can schedule time to visit Prop Store's Valencia office in California to preview pieces in person prior to the live auction dates. So email supportla at propstore.com or again, call 818-727-7829 to schedule a visit. And remember, that's Prop Store's Valencia, California office, not the Julian's office in Beverly Hills. I know this is confusing, but Julian's yeah, wants you to go to Prop Store's Valencia office. That's what they're paying for here. So please. Uh, virtual <laughs> private previews. You can set up a Zoom call with a Prop Store specialist like our friend Chuck to view up to five items. Oh, see, they don't want you looking at all 1,400 items. Go to Entertainment Memorabilia Live Auction. The, the, go to the Entertainment Memorabilia Live Auction landing page at propstore.com slash live auction. That's propstore.com slash live auction to schedule your private preview with a Prop Store specialist. There are video blogs and, uh, I'm sorry, videos and blogs. Prop Store has a number of videos and blogs that delve deeper into specific items in the auction. Check them out on Prop Store's social channels. Also check out other auction related videos filmed by Adam Savage on tested.com. Those are always a blast. So go yes. check those out. And also by us, by me. So we're going to have one too. That's right. Yeah. And there, there you go. Um, yep. you can also ask a question. If you have a question about an item, you can just email Prop Store at support LA at prop store.com. And if you need a shipping quote, just click the get the shipping quote button that appears in each lot page after you've logged in use all uh, these you, upcoming resources oh, to get all the info you want about the items you want to bid on in the upcoming june 28th to 30th los angeles prop store auction all brought to you by julian's also don't forget prop store season five the stuff dreams are made of contest is coming to an end on july 4th 2023 use your dave 10 or dave 10 discount code at propstore.com to get 10 percent off your buy now order and vote for your favorite podcast host at the same time or not even your favorite just a guy uh and your purchase qualifies you to win a pile of stuff from that guy one of us but my stuff is going to be better and aren't you going to feel guilty if my stuff you oh fuck it you all just want your goddamn house of the dragon hat i'm fucked again that's how this is going to work oh i'm jumping to 103 conan uh, the barbarian uh ron cobb father's Father sword. sword uh concept drawing that's, that's a nice one very cool yeah, yeah okay well mark that that's neat that's just a great drawing. It has nice detail on the runes, but especially yeah. on what do you call that on the sort of the hilt and the the goat's paw, yeah, the, goat, the, the goat's paw, the furniture, the, the skull head. Really cool yeah. looking. Really nice. That's yeah. great looking. Awesome. That's a great piece. It's such to a hang cool design. If you had a father sword. Oh wait, I have a father sword. You can as see it would in have my it. lower. As luck would have it. Yeah. Uh, uh, frame lower right here. I think it's great um, if you have a father sword or if you don't have a father sword. It works both ways because if you never get a father sword, you have this. So yeah. it's it's good for the entire population of the yeah. earth. Um, critters, the crow. I'm moving along. Cool. Die Hard. Uh, it's just fun to see the terrorist. Those radios uh, are awesome. Those radios, yeah. they're very cool. Uh, just kind of neat. Uh, now we're at the, uh, what did we call it? The Bat Pod, you called it, from uh, yeah. The Dark Knight. Yeah. Uh, My goodness. That is so a cool. very healthy, and that, healthy, and that healthy, estimate. healthy estimate. Yeah. So I'm I'm more impressed by the estimate didn't than this sell for, the prop. <laughs> didn't this sell for 250 like five, six years ago, if if, if memory serves? Did it? I, through, through this very auction house? 
It's quite. Was a, this one of the pieces that the time came from Warner Brothers or something? It was like an official piece at the time or something like that. Does that sound? Yes, familiar? yes. This yes. is out of the Warner Brothers archives, which I imagine is the only way that a thing like this would would appear. So I don't know why this makes me laugh. Payment plans are not available for this lot, so whoever wants out of this wants out of it quickly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I can easily make a really weird Christian Bale to sit on this for you if you decide to buy it, Ryan. I'm happy to do that. It is Very... such a cool thing. Though. It was I mean, great. It's and its usage awesome. in the film was fantastic. And, you know, it just sort of fit into that sort of Nolan sort of real world insanity, which yeah. was so great. Yeah. 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 If there was an actual billionaire doing this, what would it all look like? Yeah. Two dark crystal pieces, 109 and 110. They're both really neat. The first one is uh, the walking puppet, uh, the mystic head um, from, you know, when the mystics walk through the frame. But mm -hmm. I, and it's really cool and uh, I, I really need it. I guess it's a, it could operate. I don't know if it actually uh, still moves or not. Hard to say. No, it's on a wooden block for display, but still really neat. And then a really great piece of... Uh, Brian uh, Froud, Froud, I never know how to say it. Mm. Froud, I think, but I'm sure Froud, I'm wrong. I think, yeah. Um, As of, art is gorgeous. Uh, artwork, uh, concept artwork from The Dark Crystal yeah. that I guess appears in the Art of the Dark Crystal book. Um, that's a gorgeous piece of art. That's uh, I, yes. I like them both. That's a movie I've always wanted something from. I like both those pieces. Uh, not crazy prices on the estimates. Um, both really, really Which cool. Is nice. yeah. yeah. The art, to me... The, this you know for a henson movie it was such a departure because of the 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 source work you know what i mean like there's you know you it's a movie you watch and it no you know you're looking at puppets but you're never thinking muppets do you know what i mean in a in a really cool way it's a complete i don't know it just it was so different i, I just i always loved it so wherever that fits in john mcclain die hard with a vengeance that's a lot of blood on that shirt that's all i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say a lot of blood. well it was with a vengeance Dave. yeah no that's true which one is with a vengeance is that three three that's uh samuel Sam jackson. jackson okay yeah and jeremy Arnold. yep As this is cool brother. 113 the uh tiki room fountain shield oh yeah very neat i love i love the enchanted tiki room brings me back very good cool. memories Oh, and a figment from Epcot. I oh, I again. love figment. Oh. Also, by the way, I mean, I guess Disney collectors, some healthy numbers. This is not, this is not my area, but I, as a, as a, you know, as a Disney fan, despite having worked for the company at some point, uh, both are really cool and definitely good memories. So, I mean, in terms of uh, yeah. pure nostalgia, you can't do better than either of these things. Uh, they're pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I just, I love figment. Yeah. That uh, brings back happy memories. Uh, a replica TARDIS box used for various non-BBC productions. That's incredibly specific. <laughs> I don't know quite what that means. Variety of trade shows and rented out to various non-BBC productions, including I see the Late <laughs> Show with the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. So this is what they would, I guess, rent when they wanted to do like a Doctor Who joke somewhere else. Funny. Yeah. Very specific, but very funny. Oh, yeah. um, I'm stopping at 120 because this is great. It's a Bo and Luke Duke license plate. That is just great. It says Hazard County. <laughs> you know what that it is, is instantly. Uh, you don't have to worry about a giant Confederate flag of having the whole car. You can just have this and then in your head, think of the Confederacy. So that's great. It allows yeah. you to allows you to be quietly racist. But uh, I, it's a, you know, what can I say? It's a. <laughs> Hazard County. That's pretty great. You so. can display it with your your um, brave heart sword. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you can attach it to your brave heart and build a nice display. Um, uh, I'm 122. Uh, I love this movie. I bought the last one of these that showed up, uh, which was at a Julian's auction. I guess I have mixed emotions about seeing another one, although obviously there are multiples of the problem. Yeah, they're, they are super yeah. cool. I actually yeah. know a collector who had one of these. I'm wondering if this is his. I have to oh. ask. But uh, very, very cool. Yeah. Healthy ass. I love but, that um, movie. That movie holds up. I watch that movie every like year or so. I, I really enjoy Edge of Tomorrow uh, or Live, Die, Repeat or whatever they're calling it now. And I just love the the way this thing comes. Uh, looks like a, a helicopter blade that she has turned into uh, 
her sort of uh, sword, if you will, the angel of Verdun. So that, I don't know. I love this yeah. piece. So, uh, uh, 123, we've seen these before, but this is a really nice set. This is these awesome. are Edward Scissorhands. Yeah. These are really badass. These would look incredible together, displayed. Yeah. Uh, Johnny Depp. Uh, wow. I mean, they just look great. What do they say? Screen matched retractable blades. Oh, I see. The blades can kind of go in and out. Look at that. Yeah, that's super cool. That's yeah, there's a bit excellent. of a Tim Burton assance going on. Uh, he's uh, he's um, he's in my neighborhood uh, making uh, Beetlejuice too, which oh, is yeah. very exciting. Yeah, very very cool. One twenty four, a light up Empire State Building elevator button panel. Well, that's kind we of we have cool. seen Elf. that. Yeah, uh, recently, but I think maybe it passed. That would be my guess. I'm guessing these passed, passed and that they're back again for the the slab back piece in, yeah. too. Maybe I don't know. I wonder if this would sell better in the November auction. You know, closer to Christmas. Closer I, to I Christmas? really have no. I I don't know, but yeah, I don't know. But the yeah. uh the yeah. bill the I mean obviously he presses all the buttons and obviously those jokes, but I don't know. I almost feel like somebody who likes the Empire State Building might want this more than someone who likes Elf. I don't know. I, it feels like yeah. almost more of a New York collectible than mm. a than mm. a than a I don't know. That's my own insane yeah. whatever. Um, I'm jumping to 128 uh, just because there's a stop motion uh, head from Evil Dead 2, uh, Wormhead. Yeah, uh, I get awesome. a kick out of that movie, and that's a that's a great head, and it's uh, great in condition. In great condition, looks like really nice condition, and it just uh, you could put it on your movie. Blade yeah. Trinity display and zhuzh it up. <laughs> um, but that's just really good looking. That's a good looking head. Uh, it it very much is, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm skipping over the oh, Expendables. Like uh, what do we yes, got? You should. Fantastic um, Mr. Fox is interesting, but let's go to 134. That's kind of neat. Oh, uh, that's cool. Cameron's dad's license plate. Nervous from uh, yeah from uh, from uh, the Ferrari. Ferris Bueller from the Ferrari. A movie. I guess we've seen some of the jackets, right? We've seen some of the wardrobe. Yep. There's not a lot of it's a tough movie to find something from. Um, and this is a, no, it's, it's a, it's light on props. So this is a pretty cool one. Uh, yeah. Very, yeah, agreed. very uh, aggressive estimate. I will simply say for a wonderful, say, wonderful yeah. piece. That is uh woo, 40 yeah. to 80. That's 40, a lot. 40 yeah. to 80. Good luck. Um, there, but it's great. It's great. I like it. Uh, I love it. Not, not a lot piece. from there. This is incredible. This next thing to uh, 135. Uh, Kevin Costner screen matched Ray Kinsella baseball glove from Field of Dreams. I just watched this movie the other day. Uh, it also comes with a whole bunch of uh, uh, reference. You see all the reference stuff that kind of comes with it, yeah. which is kind of cool as well. Yeah, it's really great. What oh, a package. The, that's the bag. Yeah, I mean, it's the Wilson bag that he throws the balls. Uh, that's yeah. pretty excellent. Um, incredible movie. Wow. I mean, baseball, Americana, cinema, whatever. Woo, another good good old estimate there. Uh, are we just yeah. in the officially we're in the six figure prop collecting world at this point? That's it feels like it good. feels like yeah. everything is is pushing that now. And and um, yeah, I mean we noticed that when we read that ad a couple of weeks ago. Um, I'm not questioning yeah. it. And by the way, I, they're probably going to get it. It's just I like the illusion. Of when something at least says twenty and then shocks you when it goes for one hundred and forty, yeah, yeah. As opposed to when they just flat out <laughs> say right from in. the get go, like this yeah. is going to be at least a hundred. Yeah, yeah. This is incredible, okay. though. I mean, this, uh, yeah, that's a pretty great one. This feels like a piece they should also figure out a way to get. Like they got to show like the Wall Street Bros because I feel like. The same yes. douchey guys that have like their Mickey Mantle ball in their office would want this. You know what I mean? They would, would spend want that, some good yeah. money. Yeah. So, so douchey guys, pay attention to this one. 1989, yeah. great year for film, everybody. Lot 138, Dave. Uh, <laughs> Fine. Super fan Stefan, his flubber. Uh, <laughs> Finally, his flubber camera, clapper. clapper yep. board. Autographed. If he's got crew. any money left after his uh, big. Uh, what last pick uh, was it called? Uh, last, last action, action hero. hero purchases. Uh, here you go. Well, yeah. we have to see if last action hero is in here. We gotta we gotta come up on it. 
Well, wasn't there thought. something last action hero in the in, in the in an auction since or something? I don't know. I feel like he's bankrupt, but he's oh, he there, bought it. yeah. <laughs> there might be we'll some to, big thing. We'll have yeah. to revisit and find out. Maybe you can write the podcast. Write us, Stefan. <laughs> Stefan, let us know. Uh, Sorry, we keep making. Let fun us know of if you, but we love you. Bidding on the clapper. We're not making fun of you. I, I love Last Action Hero. Dave doesn't know no, what he's talking about. No. Um, um, <laughs> and then uh, this is the second part of the. Uh, this is let's part two. So these are not, just to be. These are not. These are not pieces that didn't sell. Everything sold the first time. These are more pieces from Mario Kerner, uh, who you can check out his episode. We had him on, but God, he had a lot of this stuff. <laughs> his, That's what his I'm struck Friday by. Friday Thirteenth collection. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And there's some key masks in here and um uh really cool jumpsuits and um you know three so three big hockey masks one from Jason Lives from I don't know any from... of these movies but 140 the new blood with the big piece cut chunked out of it is just really good looking i mean that is just that's a good looking yeah yeah just the damage is just really great it's screen match can I mean, you yeah <laughs> can you believe that it, by 1988 there were already seven jason movies wow what's more incredible I mean, they're making is, like one a year what's more incredible is how many movies i used to go to and yet i never saw any of these movies again big scary well, you're cat. afraid of I cat. just yeah now i know yeah. just do not see these movies but I, I continue to be in awe of this collection uh just in terms of its single-mindedness but also the shit he got i mean you know amazing the yeah. mask would be well like done, the Mario. X-Wing of Friday the 13th <laughs> movies, and he has multiple X-Wings. You know what I mean? Like, like if you just said yeah. to somebody, what do you want for Friday the 13th? you got to have a hockey mask. And he has so many yeah. of them. God, really cool. Yeah, and you also don't have a hockey mask, Dave. That's true. I don't even have one hockey mask. <laughs> Jason stuff. Is this uh, his stuff, too? The Freddy versus yeah, Jason? Yeah, I think oh, wow. this is all. I think, I think it goes all the way up through, oh, yeah. um, my guess, is all the way up through Lot 151. Because it says Mario Kerner collection. So the, we end with a couple of machetes. Um, really Freddy versus cool. Jason. Yeah. And uh, uh, Friday the 13th, the uh, 2009 film. Uh, so, yeah, good luck, Mario. This is all incredible Great stuff. stuff. Good it luck, did yeah. well last time. So I imagine yeah. that will continue to do that. Uh, Fury, an enjoyable movie uh, that I like. Uh, you know, Army stuff, Brad Pitt. Uh, yeah. some scripts from, uh, the older Game of Thrones, not your Game of Thrones, uh, scripts yes. from seasons one well, and Game two. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Game not of Thrones, House yes. of the Dragon. Yeah. True. Um, but, um, I'm going to start saving my scripts based on these estimates. Yeah, you should, or, or at least get two copies, ask for two copies of everything. Um, I guess so. Uh, I know it doesn't have a uh, creepy head, although I think the appliances are out there. But uh, Alan Rickman's costume from Galaxy Quest 157, I, I love that. I love that movie, and I love the costumes. I love their take on Star Trek, and obviously, within that movie, Alan Rickman is so damn good. Uh, yeah, really, really wonderful. There is a hilarious story that I saw. I think on. What's the who's the British talk show guy that has like all the guests on at once, keeps everybody on the couch? You know Graham Norton. Talking? Graham Norton, where Alan Rickman was on and tells a story about Tim Allen, like like doing this scene, like this really great scene, but they do lots and lots and lots and lots of takes. And Alan Rickman's I'm doing such a bad version of the story. You can find the clip online, so go find the clip because Alan Rickman is so dry and so wonderful. <laughs> um it's like he says something like he surprised himself by acting or something like that. It's a really funny yeah. story. And uh, no, he, he discovered acting. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Uh, kudos, yeah. Alan Rickman. I love this costume. I will. I don't know about the number. Four to eight is reasonable, but we don't know what else is coming. But I'm just going to circle this for myself. I, yeah, I yeah. do. I am a fan of this movie. Uh, yeah. Boy, anyway. It is a good one. Yeah. Uh, uh, this so is very Stuart cool. Stuart Ziff. So this uh, is his. What is this Ghostbusters effects stuff? Oh, this is really Ziff headed neat. the fifty person ghost shop responsible for groundbreaking demonic special effects in Ivan Reitman's classic Ghostbusters. So this is a crew uh, crew members collection, and there is some cool ass stuff in here from the creature side of Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters nineteen eighty four. Yes, uh, the original. So there's a uh, a Stay Puft stretching mechanical head. 
Stay Puft's t- bow tie, which is very funny. That, and the cool. bow tie is excellent. By the way, you could put those two together. Obviously, the head is not yeah. uh, painted white, but uh, still really, yeah. really neat. Um, a terror, terror dog, dog. Yep. In great shape, which is cool to see. A foot and claw. I guess it's two pieces. A. It's the head and then it's the eye, right? Is that what it is? Am I, am I understanding yeah. this correctly? That's really yeah. cool. Yeah. I almost wish they were Which together. Theory you I don't know. Yeah. Put I wonder if you could put together. Yeah. Lot 164, that horrifying demon arm that comes out for Sigourney Weaver in the chair. Oh, that's right. In the chairs. Yes. When the chairs child. grab her. Yeah. Yeah. Those were all the ha- the arms. Oh, God. That was such a cool scene. Um, a yeah. matte painting, another, an unfinished Ghostbusters head of Marshmallow Man. Yeah. Uh, script books. Oh, this is great. This is a hell of a, yeah. this is a hell of great a collection. collection. Yeah. Hell of a collection. Yeah. The, the, I'm sorry, the Terror Dog is, is just great. I mean, I, that is really, really neat. I, it's something I want to peek at in person that I just, I do love that movie. Yeah, I bet yeah. they have that when you go in there and you yeah. should video it because that is really cool. I also just want to see, I want to understand why the eye is separate and everything. I mean, I see it's, I guess it yeah. was for a shot, but boy, really cool. It looks like really, it really slots really cool. in there really perfectly. No, it I looks think like you could it even could, keep yeah. the, not rejoin it and keep the thing and make a thing out of it, you know? Well, the hard part would be, it looks like the thing it's mounted to is wider than I'm talking about the pipe that it's mounted to mm. looks like it's wider than the head itself. Well, I don't know. There's got to be something. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure what the best answer is. There's some there's some magic to be really done cool, though. Really, really cool. Uh, really, really neat. And then now we're up to the the Ghostbusters, uh, not the remake, the reimagination. I don't know what we call it. Ghostbusters 2016. How about that for an answer? Yeah. Now, yeah. I'm confused. The legacy remind me was this stuff that was in another auction and then it all got pulled but now it's back it was pulled was, it, was and that now it's a back. prop store auction or was that someone else's yes. auction it was a prop yes yeah, so it was a prop so, store okay. auction it was cataloged and pulled and uh they sorted out uh, whatever went on and uh, it was sounded like a it was a studio thing uh and um they they got cold feet or whatever decided against and now it is all back and the, and the hardware is just awesome i mean it's just yeah all great. The, the the new stuff that they invented the chipper and the bear trap i mean i i yeah. love that stuff and the, the 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 punching glove or i don't know what the hell you call it i, I yeah. love that stuff i mean the 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 backpacks or the sorry the proton packs look really good but uh i think in particular those sort of newer weapons were fantastic um we yeah, can just agreed. cut in the section from when the other catalog ready bart just put that in right here <laughs> okay and we're back great um and we're back yeah very uh, good. and we're up to gladiator uh oh look at that i'm sorry yeah oh, that's, look at that that is nice so uh screen matched general maximus's screen matched hero dress how do we pronounce that word curious curious okay you learn a lot of these um armor terms working when you're on making a, a show, show with armor let me tell you where we had no curious seinfeld so yeah <laughs> <laughs> not a word that ever came your trip up. had a couple couple of yeah. couple of couple in euro trip um uh, this is gorgeous looking. I don't know what else to it's say. It's incredible. This uh, this is a collection and a package. Whoever bought the Maximus, the because this is from the arena. Uh, whoever bought the uh, the spiky helmet from a couple years ago, here you go. There's your display. Get it done, man. If you it's have that great. and don't get this, wow, you've got to. You really just have to. And I You're realize again, we're in our. <laughs> we hate you. Um, we are in our magical <laughs> six figure estimate area, but goddamn, that's great but, looking. But this this will do better. I dare I dare say this breaks the high estimate. This one, I agree that's with that. Freaking great. And just yeah. know the good news is you buy this. You buy this for about two hundred thousand, and then Gladiator Two comes out and is so terrible. That this is worthless, right? Is that what happens? <laughs> Why are they making that? Um, I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm not yeah, interested. I, don't know. I, I mean, I think I'd it's love... actually. I know a little. I know a little bit about it, um, and it does actually sound very cool. I will yeah, say. I, I, I do and, think and it could. And be... I've been told the script is excellent. Really? Okay. I. I, I mean, I'd love to. Yeah. I. I hope I'm wrong. I, I actually let me go on. And I'll really. I really hope I'm wrong. It's just this is such a good memory of a movie i just don't want it sullied by a so many years later you know yeah. what i mean uh just yeah yeah so 
Um, I like this axe too. That's pretty cool looking too. Yeah, that's great. Very. I remember when the, yeah. the the sort of pointy end goes into his foot. I always remember that <laughs> scene from the movie. Um, Some various really cool Goonie uh, treasures, and now, which is really neat. Yeah, all really cool. One eighty seven yep. through one eighty nine. One-Eyed Willie? Was that his name? Yeah, One-Eyed Willie, yep. Um, oh, this is yep. fascinating. The Rich Weaver Collection. Uh, a number of never-before-seen memorabilia from the illustrious personal collection of Emmy and Golden Globe Award winner Estelle Getty. So this is the Rich Weaver Collection. She was the personal... He was the so personal he assistant and friend. He a... Personal assistant and friend. So uh, Okay, I got it. But some really Golden Girl stuff... Uh, I was going to make a stop or my mom will shoot uh, joke. <laughs> Apparently nothing, uh, at least here in the collection. At least but it's, it's called yet. out in the description of the, cl- of the collector. Oh. And I always love the story on that because, you know, that was back when Arnold and um, Stallone were like mortal enemies right. and, at the box office and, and the script had neck been offered and neck to, and to neck, Schwarzenegger. Yeah. And, it, and it was so terrible that his, his game was to – um, convinced the town that he was deeply interested in the in the movie, so that Stallone would jump all over starring oh, that's in hilarious. It to, to try to to like like reverse like, and that's that's the reason that he ended up in the movie. And it it, it is I saw that in the theater because I was a hopeless uh, uh, you know eighties muscle man action movie fan. So really, so even and though even, I mean even this even at age had eleven, to say, I oh, knew wow. that that was terrible. Yeah, just terrible. I skipped this oh. one, but goddamn, you got to give Arnold credit. That guy was playing three dimensional chess at all times. I mean, I love him. Yeah, I, there's I, also an Arnoldessance going on a little bit right now, and yeah, you know, he's got his documentary coming up on uh, on Netflix. I understand there's a book coming. Um, it's all very exciting stuff, um, but nothing to do with Estelle Getty, who is a uh, an institution. And uh, this uh, Rich Weaver collection is actually very interesting. Golden Girls was good. I was a fan. I loved the Golden Girls. No, it Girls. was great. I, I mean, I, I'm i not sure what happened. I remember like the first like four or five seasons. I think it ran for like mm-hmm. 80 seasons. So I, in the end, I think there was like a hotel <laughs> they owned. You know, when you get to that point in a show's run where the characters yeah. buy a hotel and run it, that's my – I'd like to do a show that starts there. Like I don't know where you do that, but I'd like to do yeah. a show that starts – as if the show has been running for 20 yeah. years. Oh, that's and good. Now, I like that. Like a couple of cast members have left, but then the couple of the cast members that have stayed have opened a hotel like with it. their cousin or something, the new character. And, but yeah. that's episode one. That would be my dream pitch for uh, when the writer strikes. Over. That's so, actually yeah. how, how house of the dragon is going to end. Dave is that uh, <laughs> they open a, open a hotel. Oh, that's together, nice. Together. That's nice. Yeah. They make like up that. and they, they open a hotel together. At Dragonstone, Dragonstone. They open a hotel. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. I, I'm jumping to 195 because I chased this item. This showed up. I, I'm going to tell this story. This showed up. A guy put this a picture of this up on Facebook, oh, that's cool. and I yeah. desperately tried to uh, to make an offer, and he ghosted me. And here it is. But it's pretty neat. That's it's the son of a bitch. End credit roll from uh, from Godfather Two. I think it's missing. I feel like it's missing Diane keaton maybe right after al pacino it should be there you see the space i think that should be done oh, oh, no, yeah. no there's there. Diane keaton it's down on the second one then maybe somebody's missing oh it must be no de niro's there too well maybe not i we i have to check the movie i thought something was missing and then above hmm. pacino there's something's missing there um but who cares it's pretty pretty fantastic awesome. yeah um the credit roll uh i have i think i've told you this i have one of these from a monty python episode in a very long frame long thin mm. frame and i i just i don't know i just think it's really really cool so uh, i i have my eye on this uh so bid that me is, up that is bid cool me up. mark that one yeah bid me up okay so so here we go dave 198 we have um, another delivery sorry uh <laughs> <laughs> uh it's amazon is, harrison ford head has now come yeah uh joe dante's gremlin puppet but from gremlins 1984 and you never see any gremlins from 84 gremlins and that's why that was on the back of the catalog and this is ah, awesome ah gotcha because this is gremlins that is one. great looking yeah that is and just the fantastic director's personal yeah that is yeah 
It's just badass. I love the original Gremlins, yep. and I can't the wait to show my children it. Condition looks fantastic. I, Look, the condition on this looks yeah. just wonderful. Again, a healthy estimate, but who cares? It's really great. Uh, yeah, first movie, incredible. That is just wonderful. Great movie. I love it. Yep. And then obviously we see a couple from the second movie. This is uh, Daffy, which is, I mean, by the way, this is a great piece. I love those, the different characters in the second movie, but the first yes. movie, and, and I think there's, there's some really funny jokes in the second movie. It's just a different thing. You know, it's, it's actually yes. in a funny way, maybe I'm it's wrong a about meta this movie. It's a meta movie, but also it's a much more of a Joe Dante movie. It feels like that's the movie like that. That's mm. Joe Dante's sort of natural form. It's sort of a very funny movie like that. Comedy like, horror. Comedy yeah. horror. And the first one definitely and leans it's more into horror. And sarcastic horror. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's really neat. Um, that's really cool. Uh, I'm moving along. Halloween mask. Halloween mask. Harry and the Henderson's head. That's kind of neat. Uh, that's good for Tom yeah. Spina. That looks like a Rick Baker piece. Uh, yep, remember that is. was his that was his choice. Was that his choice? Uh, That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wow, I'm this jumping. Is cool. I'm not a Where Potter guy, but yeah, two oh six. Really, uh, really a neat. distressed Harry Potter costume from Chamber of Secrets, and it looks great. It just looks like a screen used through the through the hold on. I'm pausing for a second. Hold on, you know, I, I, second. Hold on what, babe? Our, my Mother's Day flowers just arrived to apologize to my wife for doing this podcast. So she just got those. That's what the delivery was. <laughs> oh, wish was. Becky a happy Mother's Day. From Ryan says, happy well. Mother's Day. He wants you to know what I'm bidding on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's packing a bag and leaving me. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> I was expecting to see a pot of flowers just thrown into the frame. <laughs> just smash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bart, add that. Add that now. Okay, great. Yeah. Good. And we're back. Um <laughs> This is incredible. Uh, this is a full Potter. Uh, the full That's Potter, amazing, right? I mean, full really Potter? amazing. Yeah. yeah, with with the tag. The distress Dan actually Radcliffe, to Dan me Radcliffe. makes it so much better because it yeah. separates it. I don't mean this is one of those pieces where because they've made such great replicas that you can you know buy for you or your child, and by mm -hmm. your child I mean you, your own Harry <laughs> Potter full outfit to wear around, like. At some point, the lack of distress almost, you know what I mean? Like it, it, the line between replica and real gets blurred. And so when you see one like this yes. with this, the mud and the stains and everything, God, it just looks so good. Boy, this yes, is fantastic. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Really, really wonderful. Uh, wow. Oh, and then, uh, and then a wand. Woo. Look at that. Yeah. For, also from Chamber of Secrets. Look at that. Yeah. Hef hefty Glorious. price, but great piece. Uh, Potter's wand. Wow, I mean, you kind of can't buy the first. You can't buy two hundred six without buying two hundred seven. So no, good I luck know. to whoever. But my God, that is great. That I is know. really great. Um, another one of the invites, acceptance letters, which I I always love. Uh, yeah, yeah, and this fun. is one of the hero ones with the the seal with the on. actual wax uh, seal as opposed to the printed yeah. ones. If you, I yeah. think people at this point know, but there because there's so many of them flying around. There are the ones that actually have the wax seal, and then there are ones where the wax seal the, is just the, printed. The, the on. ones that yeah. the the ones that are that are uh, props versus set decks. Yes, the one, because there were a lot of them because of the when they they fly they fly the around. And, yes, yeah, yeah. Um, but that is the then, difference. Uh, is, and so when you see one with the wax. Go for it. And this is an interesting, yeah. I'm going to throw this out too. And we may have said this before, so forgive me if I'm just repeating ourselves. But these things have, you know, as an entryway Harry Potter prop, you know, because obviously it's everything you could want. It's got Harry Potter's name, cupboard under the stairs, the address for Privet Drive. And on the back, you've got yeah. Hogwarts and whatever. And then the, the wax. These things, I feel like we've watched these things just kind of creep up over the years, but it is a perfect entry prop. Now, this one, they're estimating 10 to 20, but if this is something you've wanted or you want it into the world of Harry Potter, I don't know, this to me, you grab this now because I think the next one's going to be 15 to 25. I, I really do. Mm -hmm. um, and, I, and I'm not talking about from an investment standpoint. I'm just simply saying... Grab it while you can. I don't know. If you're a fan, get it now. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, it this yeah. is the cheapest it'll be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, this is a first edition. These things have surfaced from time to time. They're I a big I, deal. Yeah. I, I, they're a big deal. I, you know, obviously to book collectors, I have no sense of any of this, but I do know the original Harry Potter when it was published in the UK, 
it was not a big to do at first. And so I guess these early It was ones, a, just yeah. a low first print run. Yeah. I mean, it became big pretty quickly, but it was just a low first print run. And that's, thus you get the hundred two thousand $100,000, $200,000 estimate on a book. Yeah. So buy the costume, everybody. I would go for the costume uh, over the book if I'm spending that money. Um, but by the yeah. way, I would love to have the book too. So I'm not lying. I just, yes. I am a fan. I am a fan. A um, couple of Hateful Eight costumes. I mean, just gorgeous, just gorgeous period costumes. Yeah, incredible. Right? Yeah. And I love that movie. I really do. Just the detail on those pieces is just so great. Uh, just really nice pieces. I'm going to skip over Hellraiser, Hugo, iRobot. Um, is this back again? Two nineteen. This is the uh, I don't know. Inception or spinning top. Because the last That'd be a time, question for the yeah, we'd guys. like to find it that did out. sell. It did sell. Okay, it did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It went. And above I believe estimate. the previous one was from a prop guy, right? That's what that was. The connection of yes. some sort. There was from yes. a crew member. So this is the. It's lot two nineteen. It's the Inception spinning totem prop. So. Uh, I would be curious, is this the same one, a different one? And if it is a different one, what is its provenance? But I love that movie and I love this prop yeah. and I don't know what else to say. I did not bid on, I did not win on the other one. Uh, it went higher than I thought. I may have been on the phone for it, but I do like it. So I'll leave it at that. I do yeah. like it. Um, Independence Day. Um you know, I, I think the models are great. I don't know what else to say. This is a, they have a photo mat, a photo matched miniature. I, you know, that movie, that's the mummy of space alien invasion movies. You know what I mean? Like I find I can watch it. I it just makes me, yeah. puts a smile on my face. I don't know if it's good, but it puts a smile on my face and I, it does really, it's, yeah. It's a delight. And I, yeah. And I really like Welcome the ships. To Earth. Yeah. Really enjoyable. Uh, this I, I particularly like this 220, which is a uh, a photo matched piece. 221 is a production made one. I I obviously lean towards the uh, the photo matched one. Yeah, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. 223. Hello, Dave. That is freaking cool. Now, is this the one that they auctioned off? I, that's years what I was ago? sort of wondering. Is this the or same is one? it a new one? I don't know. <laughs> I'll I'll here I'll text Brandon right now. Okay, we'll get an answer as we go. Well, it's a, this is a I, I guess you know again this is such bad radio. Uh, uh, lot two two three Indiana Jones Harrison Ford uh, Smith and Wesson MK two hand ejector revolver from Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark nineteen eighty one uh, Indy's gun one of a couple that he uses. Um, yeah. Uh, but it's custom, it's modified, yeah. it's cut down, you know, custom, uh, the, the sight on the top of the barrel. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a custom yeah. job. They are calling out a very specific, they're showing a serial number on it. So I wonder yeah. if there's matching paperwork or if you could find that paperwork. But uh, let's see, is it uh, rented to the production by UK, believed to be one of the two revolvers used by Ford. Okay. So I'm guessing it, yeah. I don't know if there's a match, but it's definitely, you don't know where it appears on the screen, it looks like, but it's, you know, it most likely was used. I guess that's as good as it we're going to get, cool. but that is yeah. excellent. That is excellent. Uh, where does that fit into your Is that world, something right? for you that you think about? Well, you know, I have, the, I, 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 I'm not sure I need the two guns. And while I would argue that this is the better of the two guns, I'm pretty happy with uh, the, uh, the you know me, I'm a cautious guy. That's the one I have, as yeah. our longtime listeners know. I think I'm pretty happy, and I'm not sure I need to upgrade. Uh, but let's see how the rest of the auction goes. I, I do definitely, you know, mine basically gets thrown in a suitcase. This one actually, you know, in theory gets used a lot. It shoots uh, the I swordsman. Lean, yeah, yeah. I, lean, I lean towards this one for many, many reasons. But, yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, set decorator uh, screenplay with prop and set deck breakdowns. That's pretty Which is cool. Very cool. That's yeah. excellent. Uh, that artwork is done after the fact. The sarcophagus is a casting. Uh, I like 227, a oh, William Plum collection. Bill Plum was a longtime collector of uh, Star Wars. And I, I guess I didn't realize, realize he was an Indiana Jones collector as well, but he definitely had a lot of great Star Wars original art. Um, mm comics posters production you know all sorts of art stuff 
Um, and this is uh, the Polish poster. I love this. I, 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 I love this art. This is something I will be marking. Uh, it, I bought a couple cool. of things from that... Bill Plum back in the day. I honestly, I was curious. I wonder if he's selling or if he's, I hope he's okay. I have no idea. I haven't talked to him in a million mm -hmm. years. Um, but this is a gorgeous piece. Uh, and it was quite a collection and I will be marking this. That's really, really cool. Grail Knight sword. Uh, very cool. Uh, where does this fit into your world? Where'd the gun fit into your world? You didn't answer the question. You avoided the question. Do you care about guns? Uh, I really like it. Uh, I just sold my indie gun. It was last crusade. I don't have anything Raiders. I mean, this is very cool. I will be looking at it. Fair enough. Very coy, very coy, but you're keeping your options open. Uh, yeah. All right, uh, two two eight. We've done two hundred twenty-eight lots. Knight sword. We're not even close to the end. Grail Knight Sword. We're up to <laughs> I. We're barely up to I. We're not even halfway through the alphabet. This is yeah insane. Um, well, well, we're nearly halfway through the auction, but yes. Okay. Well, so you say. But Grail Knight yeah. Sword, uh, super cool. Um, bit of a MacGuffin in a way. I mean, I guess all of this stuff is a MacGuffin in a weird way, but. You know, the sword of a knight who ends up, of course, being an old man and doesn't really fight with it. You know what I mean? But you know, right. still kind of neat. Uh, still kind of right. neat. Um, and now Crystal Skull. And I'm just going to politely skip on over all of it. You can stop me if you want to. And I'm going to go to 236. Uh, Donnie the Bear Jew Donowitz, Eli Roth, stunt baseball bat with rope scalps. Uh fantastic cool. it's a stunt if it were a real bat you could perhaps use it on mr mel gibson but anyway now dave <laughs> yes if you know if carbon if carbon credits are a thing if you bought the the mel gibson sword and you bought the donnie the bear jew donowitz's stunt Does baseball it balance bat itself that was used out? to smash donnie Nazis the bear the jew is one of the great jews uh and i i so, say this <laughs> proudly proudly like, is there uh, is there an offset to be I don't know. Just I just crazy. don't know. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it go, boy, I love this. I like the movie and I love this bat and I like Donnie the Bear Jew. So yeah, it's go. super cool. Uh, what did I just read recently? A little interview uh, that uh, he wanted Sandler for the part originally. He did. Yeah. 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 That, was which, kind of, which that was cool. Yeah. It's kind of a hilarious sort of turn. Well, if you think about like, the oh. rage of uh, not Billy, is it what's the hockey one? Uh, not Billy Madison. Uh, not the hockey one, the golf one. Uh, uh, Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. If you think of Happy Gilmore's anger, but killing Nazis, that would have been yeah. pretty neat. Uh, Delightful. Uh, yeah. Um, I am jumping to 239. This is the Wooden Master. Wait, is this from is this from the movie or is this something else? No, this is for the final weapon. This is the wooden model yeah. for what became the golden gun in Man with yeah. the Golden Gun. This is excellent. Uh, I, I, I mean, I, I just think that's really, really neat. That should be in a James Bond museum, but that's really, really cool. Um, I yeah, love that. Very cool. One of these days, I, I mean, I keep saying this. I have got to get a James Bond piece. However, it will not be two forty a speedboat. It will not be two forty the speedboat. <laughs> the it will Raider also not speedboat. be two forty one the Russian Special Service Atomic Energy Anti Terrorist Unit Land Parahawk from the world is not <laughs> enough. It's probably none of these things. That's we've got some more of the Casino Royale. Uh, and floating yeah. dragon skyfall, and skyfall various things yeah. i mean i love yeah. it all i feel like we've the seen chips, a lot of the them cards. but it's cool yeah they're always cool all really uh, neat spec specter ring Spe quantum specter pin. ring quantum pin uh i was just reading about there was an interesting article about uh the last strike and how quantum of solace was sort of rushed into production which i guess yeah. i always knew but it was interesting to read um, yeah with the actor yeah. and the director writing the script so yeah John support Wick. your local WGA yeah. chapter. Please support yeah. your D WGA chapter. Maybe by the time this airs, the directors will be on strike as well. Um, John Wick. Um, I mean, these are great. I, you know, this is a funny thing to say. I, I, those movies, boy, you know, grab one. I don't know. I, I feel like that. That's they're going to go up. And I think they're going to go up. I think we're going to we're going to think fondly. Yeah. In some ways, I think the the. Uh, the 2020s will be known as the John Wick era of our of our of our Earth. That's what I think. Uh, I am skipping yeah. over some Judge Dredd stuff, and I am jumping to 254 because these are always fun to see. We've seen them Screen before. Screen match Jumanji. Screen game match board. Jumanji board. Cool. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, 
really really neat it's got the game pieces with it it looks like right that's what it says i see a picture of them so i'm assuming they're there but just fantastic looking uh and a movie i uh very much still enjoy uh very very much uh directed by joe johnson now we're in some jurassic park stuff which is interesting but what's really interesting is we hit the sam neill collection which is oh, wow. uh sam neill uh is putting some stuff in uh and he is putting them in to benefit unicef's children's charity um having survived stage three t-cell lymphoma in 2022 neil continues to star in films and series while running his alexandra winery to paddocks in new zealand i guess so i did not know he survived cancer he is a wonderful actor and the fact that this is all going to unicef he, makes sur- it that he much survived better. uh he survived a a park of uh run amok dinosaurs he survived jurassic world dominion is what he survived (laughs) um so it's a bunch of cool stuff they've got the boots from the first movie which are really neat and then a bunch of costume stuff from uh dominion uh which he was great in it uh that's a polite uh backhanded compliment right yeah i love him he's great um some cool stuff uh 269 i'm stopping on because it's uh karate kid part two daniel larusso's miyagi do kimono it is absolutely fantastic look at that reserve that's a that's we are we are here we have arrived we are we have officially arrived in 2023 hundred to two hundred thousand dollars for the karate kid part two everybody now i guess some i I mean, mean it's a great movie and i guess some of this is the cobra kai ongoing success but boy oh yes yes and it is super cool um, Dave, I, I just want to. I just, no by the way, I just time. want a replica of those. I want to just a replica one of those to wear around. That's it's what I want. it's screen yeah. matched. It's very yeah. cool. It's screen matched. It's it, you know it's from the uh, the um, you know show no mercy scene where he honks his nose, um, but uh, very cool. And I can think of no better time, Dave. We're at lot two sixty nine. Uh, we should call it a day, I think. On uh, we are on we are officially one. halfway through, right? That's K. So Week L, one, right? yeah. Is that, yeah, does that yeah. work? Put the, we're going to pause a second. You're going to have to come back next week. Light up a cigarette because, man, this has been an experience. Any thoughts um, and, partway uh, through? What's hitting you? I Maybe we'll do conclusions at the end, but I am struck by prices. It is what it is. Um, I'm struck I, by prices. I I'm do think, blown away by the Blade Runner lot. Yeah. I do think the prices uh, make you sort of, I think, be looking for those pieces that aren't those pieces. I mean, again, I, I know I just talked about that invite, but, and again, it's not free either, but I do think you have to start being a little strategic about how you're getting into these things. You know what I mean? Um, and you yep. know, what's available in the numbers because, you know, in a six figure world, I think you, you know, you, the, the opportunities for the five to $10,000 pieces, obviously they exist, but when you see a great one, it's something you may want to jump at. That's, that's my takeaway from this first, uh, Yes, agree. From this first whatever. Uh, is Blade Runner hitting you the most, would you say? Is that uh, for so you? So far, I, th- okay. I So far, I think, yeah. I was struck uh, just by that. Pers- personal taste. I was struck by the Potter costume. I was struck by that Batman Returns costume with the, with the better one. The Godfather piece, obviously, as I mentioned, was something I was really interested in. I really liked... Um, some of that Ghostbusters stuff. I mean, there's definitely some things. I'm not sure I've, I'm not sure I'm like, I'm set yet. Uh, Found your yeah. thing. I mean, again, yeah. I want it all. I mean, yeah, I'd love the Field of Dreams piece. It just, uh, I just don't think at, at that number, I'm going to explore it. You know what I mean? But boy, I'm going to watch it. I'm right. going to watch the heck out of it. It'll be fun to see. Um, oh, yeah. But yeah. Um, is there a game to be played? I don't even know. What would you want from if you had to have something? The game this week is if you had to have something from the movie <laughs> we don't like, The Big Lebowski. What do you want, Ryan? I'm going to force you to take something and display it over your head. What are you going to take? Oh, I take the You're rope. the rope. Flat out the rope. Okay. Yep. I think I want. No doubt. I think I want. That's the thing that goes in the Smithsonian. Right, I think I want Jesus's ball, or I want Jesus's purple <laughs> costume. That's where I'm going. So that's. Uh, yeah, did yeah. you ever see this the follow yeah, up the Jesus show that they did on maybe Netflix or something? No. Well, we should definitely watch that. Um, all righty. Well, that's a hell of a first uh, half of a catalog. That's not even that's a fel- that's a hell of a first half of just day one of a three day catalog. That's <laughs> madness. Um, 
but uh, please, uh, I don't know, follow us somewhere on social media at Props Podcast on all social at media. Props Podcast. Uh, uh, on YouTube subscribe. because uh, you want to see two men looking at a catalog. That'll be on YouTube. Uh, but we will yep. try and put some pictures up of some of these things that we're talking about. Very, very cool. Um, write us uh, if you want me to make you a stretched out human head please dreams are made of podcasts at gmail.com what else can we say is that about it join us next week uh, we're about to dive into I think the we're second half of the catalog right, now, right here so and right now the same clothing but uh, that's why but uh, look yeah. out but uh, we're gonna take a bathroom break and then we're gonna record it but you'll have to wait a whole week sorry and we will be back see you next week <laughs>